Hey guys, it's Becky from Bama, and today we're going to a hot air balloon festival, and we're going to ride in a hot air balloon. So a little backstory. Riding a hot air balloon and going to a hot air balloon festival has been on my bucket list forever. It's something I've always wanted to do. I've always been really intrigued by hot air balloons. So when I found out, I just found out about three days ago that they were having a hot air balloon festival in Foley, Alabama this weekend. And I decided right then that I needed to go. So of course I asked my what the fangirl friends if they wanted to go and unfortunately Sam wasn't able to go but Christina and Melly were able to go so we are gonna go to this hot air balloon festival and have an awesome time so we've been driving now for about four hours or I should say we've been riding and Melly's been driving for about four hours we're about to get off the interstate and actually get on the back roads headed to Foley um, we're about to stop for gas and to use the restroom for the third time in a four hour so far trip because when you get older you just can't wait that long so we're going to use the restroom again and we will be to foley soon and i'm excited about seeing the balloons so update we got to foley at noon because that was the plan so we'd have like a whole day after driving four and a half hours and the festival actually starts at two so we decided to drive 25 more minutes and just go on to Gulf Shores and eat at a restaurant on the beach so at least we're doing something awesome so you can see we're now driving by the beach looking for a place to eat so hopefully we'll find somewhere good We just pulled into the Foley Soccer Complex, which is where the Hot Air Balloon Festival is. Remember I told you all ago that we got here at noon, so it didn't start until two, so we went to Gulf Shores to have lunch. Well, guess what? When we get here, they hand us a brochure, and apparently it's been open since 9 a.m. But you know what? If we'd known that, we wouldn't have gone to Gulf Shores, we wouldn't have been at the beach, we wouldn't have had some fresh gulf oysters so no harm no foul let's go see what these balloons are about so here we go we're walking up there's like the carnival part over there we're not real sure where the actual balloons are going to be they don't come out until about five o'clock and it is just now about 2 30. so you can see the porta potties in front of us i'm very familiar with those from my job so no fear here but i'm thinking I want some deep fried Oreos if they have them and I want to ride some rides. Let's get it done. Okay guys, before we ride the actual hot air balloon, we're going to practice. See that back there? We're going to practice on that to make sure we're ready. Okay, we're in the Carney hot air balloon to get us ready for the real thing. I got Christina with me. We're about to take off. It's going to be lit. Um, most of the other people on here are children. We don't care. We don't care. We're grown ladies. We'll do what we want. fun. As far as carnival rides go, I'll give it five out of five stars. So we rode the hot air balloon carnival ride, but now we're going to graduate to something a little bit scarier. We're going to ride that thing back there. It's called chaos and we'll see if it really is. It's 
five o'clock. Right now, the glow is supposed to be starting on a field that's over there, but we have winds that are a little too high. The wind has to be under seven miles per hour, and right now it's not, and there's like a little rain front that might be moving through, so at this point, we're unsure if we're gonna get to go up in the balloon or not, so I'm really hoping that we do, but if not, then we have to come back at six in the morning and do it then, so we'll see what happens. It is currently raining, but they have decided not to sell any tickets here for the tethered balloon rides, but the ones that have already been sold um, online and pre-ordered like ours, they're gonna try to honor those at about eight o'clock tonight. So we're waiting on the rain to pass and hopefully at eight o'clock we'll be on a balloon and this trip will not be an epic fail. So look who I just ran into. This is Claire. She's my boss. My boss is here. I'm glad I didn't lie and say that I was not <laughs> coming to work because I was sick or something. Then came to a balloon festival and then ran into my boss because that would be awkward. I wouldn't do that anyway. Don't do that. But we are going to ride in a balloon very shortly. We hope. They've got the baskets on the field now. So it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Well, we've waited here all day and they have canceled because of the wind. And you can come back if you have an armband at six in the morning and ride then. But unfortunately, we have places to be tomorrow. So we're not gonna be able to do that. So today was a bust. No bucket list, no riding a hot air balloon. But hopefully this is something I will get to do later. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and think about becoming a subscriber. Thanks.